Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and welcome back to the Super Mario Odyssey postgame. Okay, let's go back to the top. <clears throat> I think I'm going to actually go to the top of this place first. Obviously we have the um, free running, which we will definitely do. I just want to... Oh, oh, okay, this is a new thing too. Okay, we'll, we'll do this as well. Looks like we have these electric current things. I think this is another one where it is kind of easy to miss the uh, secret um, moon if, like, you're not careful. Just make sure that you're really, really paying attention. And you can also do stupid stuff like that. <laughs> Whoops. Try that again. You could probably also just see it if, like, you. Oh, yeah, actually, I do see it. Maybe you guys didn't see it because it was so small, but, like, since I knew what to look out for, it wasn't as hard for me to find. Okay, let's try this again. The mistake I made was I wasn't patient. So I want to wait till does that. Then we need to move, get over here. And I guess we're doing more of the same. Also, let's not forget these coins. The thing I do really like about this game is just how the game really does try to play respect to like every single ability, every single gimmick in some way. Like, you know, have these like special rooms, which I think is really cool. And I completely messed up. I completely messed up because I was tr getting ready for the uh, secret shine when I probably should have just kept moving because I probably could have just, you know, backtracked for it. This reminds me of uh, Super Mario 3D World. There were some things like that where you had to just like keep moving because the platforms would like alternate. But yeah, there's the secret moon. I could see that from the very first platform, just very, very briefly. But it was it was there. And there we go. Push block peril. Okay, so we're done with that. Now how do I get to the top again? Like, I think this is just the mini area in between, right? Which there are coins in here, so. Um, we will we will come back in here, but. Is there no way to get to the top anymore? Oh, I know there is. There's a ramp. I just couldn't see the ramp. Captain Toad? Are you the final boss? I climbed all the way up here because I wanted to see that big moon up close. I'm still not very close, but I found a power moon along the way, so here. Okay. It does look pretty big from up here. You gotta give it that. Captain Toad being the final boss, by the way. Okay, so we're done with that. Um, I guess we'll do the Koopa free running stuff now. This is actually a very short mission from what I remember. But yeah, once again, just uh, making your way to the end is actually like kind of the very beginning we Woo! 
There we go. And then we gotta do it again. The regular cup. Now let's do the other cup. Wait, that's still the regular. Oh, you know what? Okay, I know why. Okay, I know why it's giving us the regular cup again. Um. You have to actually unlock the meteorite post-game stuff first. because They don't do that with Mushroom Kingdom because there is no meteorite for the Mushroom Kingdom. So that makes sense. Okay, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that uh, second one later. I just wanted to kind of at least do the first one to see what you're up against. The race doesn't really change at all, by the way. It's literally the same race. Just, uh, you know... Slightly faster opponents, you might need to utilize more to beat them. Okay. So here's the thing, I feel like I'm still missing a lot of these purple coins. <laughs> I see some over there, but like, it's still missing a number of them. I'm gonna at least grab more of these. And we Okay, I'm missing four. So which means there's probably just like four of those coins just, you know, somewhere on a ledge or something. Also I see that peach. Okay. So what are we gonna do now? Um we're still missing some stuff. Got that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I may have not interacted with yet. Oh, here we go. Well, oh, there's all the purple coins. Um, we have to check out the shop, uh, the shops, so let's go ahead and purchase. Oh, looking spiffy in this black tuxedo, Mario, not gonna lie. Okay, we'll, we'll wear that for a bit. Phone? I disagree with... <laughs> I disagree with your objection, I guess? <laughs> Don't really know what you're exactly objecting to, but... To each their own. Okay, so there we go. That's all the stuff from here. Now, um, oh yeah, we have to also get the shopping moon here as well. So let's go ahead and get the this. This will at least make it part of the the main missions. These boxes have anything of relevance? No, they don't. Uh, what about this telescope guy? Because I know I know something that also happens post game is that you'll have like a bunch of like flying things, and in some kingdoms there's actually one that's like unique. Like there's the taxi. So you have to look out for things that don't really belong, I guess. But yeah, that's another thing that uh, you'll have to find in certain kingdoms. Okay. Okay, so we got that. I think now we can start like looking at our list and seeing what we're missing. Um, we're only missing two, so, <laughs> and there's obviously the hint art which we still need, but uh, there is one other thing. I'm trying to remember if there, if that other thing is obvious or not. But um, 
Let's talk to Takatu and find out what we're missing. What's the secret you're seeking? I can't tell, but I'll give you a clue. The forgotten treasure. It's hiding somewhere and no peeking. Go find it. Go find it. Skarka. Okay, I know which one he's talking about. I don't remember how to activate it, though. But yeah, Cap Kingdom Art. So, for this last moon, you need Cappy to, like, kind of tell you where it is. It's like a little side quest thing here. I just don't know, like, how you activate it again. Okay, I think I have to talk to this guy. Good to see you again, Cappy. Say, Cappy, you mentioned a treasure a ways back. Said I could have had it if I found it. Does that still still stand? Where was it again? Was it under that pile of wooden crates? No, maybe the narrow pathway that dips into the fog? Which I believe is somewhere over here. It's kind of like a little scavenger hunt of sorts. Maybe on top of the glasses bridge. Is this the glasses bridge? <laughs> Maybe on top of the biggest hill. First, I went towards the moon. Uh, my controller's rumbling. There we go. So yeah, we found his lucky power moon. And that's uh, basically all the moons for the Cap Kingdom, aside from the uh, Hentart, obviously, but we'll get that later. Uh, so now we can actually interact with the meteorite. I mean, we could have as soon as we got here, obviously, but let's go ahead and uh, do that now. So we're going to need a Paragoomba again. And then we'll bust it open. So many more power moons popped out. That rock must have fallen from the moon. So yeah, as you can see, more power moons appear, so... I guess that's kind of the thing, is that... Uh, they really do have a lot <laughs> in this game for you to, you know, find. Because they just seem to keep, like, adding stuff. But a lot of the new stuff you can get um, will be pretty obvious... Some of the stuff will be glowing. Sometimes they just appear outright on the map. But then in the case of the... Um, um, the free-running mission... Like obviously, that's something new we'll be able to interact with. Um, but yeah, you just want to kind of like look around. Keep track of all the things. And uh, eventually you'll get everything. Got this... Um, how do I... Oh. Dope. <laughs> well, that was embarrassing. Why did you start me all the way over here? <laughs> I 
Okay, well, I'll grab this. <laughs> I know that, that it started me over here because, you know, obviously that's where, like, the loading zone was, but still. Okay. Next to Glasses Bridge. How do I get out of here? I wish I could get up there. Oh wait, there's music notes. I guess I'll get those. We'll get all the stuff that are out here, like on the... Um, deep fog area, just so... Just so we have all this stuff taken care of. And you may have also noticed that there are some two icons that appeared. Just one in this case. Uh, that is actually a bonus pipe that appeared. So that's something else we'll need to interact with as well. It looks like a bird we have to get or a butterfly or something. Okay, danger sign... I'm gonna see if I can catch up with this guy. No! Do I need to... I guess I need to hit it with Mario or something. <laughs> I mean, that, that was stupid regardless. Yeah, I think we have to wait for it to get close to land or something. Okay. It says there is something right here. I think I have to fall from the top to get that one. Um, then that's the Cupa Free Running. There's also another thing out there. And there's just a lot of stuff just like in the middle of nowhere apparently. Okay, well, let's just do this. Let's see, where is it? Hi, Power Moon. That was fun. Let's see, there's another one out in the open there. I think they just kind of ran out of ideas. We're like, oh, let's put it in the fog. <laughs> okay, where else? I well, we could always try the fog. <laughs> okay, one more. What, what do you got? Fog? <laughs> I see we pay you guys very well. <laughs> Okay, fly to the edge of the fog. <laughs> Quite literally the edge of the fog. Okay. So what do we got? We got Koopa free running. There's also just a bunch that are just over here. I guess we'll focus on those. I know one of them was a scarecrow guy. Or a timer challenge is there more accurately referred to as. I feel like I had this one too, just... You gotta be kidding me! I made it! <laughs> Lame. There we go, my god. 
There, I did it twice for you. Don't say I never did anything for you. <laughs> okay, anything up here? Oh, it's that thing there. And see, this is why I hit this thing earlier, because I thought it w was a moon, and sure enough, it is. Just not until post-game for some reason. I guess that is kind of just a weird thing that that, like, why is that post-game? Like, <laughs> That, that should be able to be gotten now, easily. I don't think making that post-game really adds much to it. Okay, I think... Is there something here? No, it's... Here. Oh, bunnies. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> okay, I think we got three more. Well... Four, well, technically five more, but like one's the same thing, one's the bird, and, and there's another mission over there. Okay. Let's find out what's over here. This is where it is, right? Ah, there it is. And like that, why is that post game? Like. <laughs> it just kind of becomes more like scavenger hunty. Which, I mean, not necessarily a bad thing, mind you. Just, again. Not something I expected. But yeah, this is going to be the um, the biggest aspect of this. Which, uh, yeah, we have secret areas. And these secret areas are generally more difficult. In fact, you'll actually see, like, some challenges that are actually... Like, um, remixes of ones we've done before. Um, oh shoot, I didn't mean to keep rolling like that, but... Okay, well, let's try that again. I think you do start rolling after a while, like... Yeah, okay, so you do start rolling. There we go. Precision rolling, as it's called. Also, yeah, those little hills can... mess up your momentum, I guess. You can get some coins, but obviously, like, focus on the mission at hand, I guess. Roll on and on. There we go. Now we just need that bird, and then Koopa free running, and then we're done. So we need to find out how we're going to get that bird, by the way. Um, it's... Trying to figure out its path. Oh, okay, you do have to touch it. I guess I just didn't touch it before. Which I really thought I did, but, eh, whatever. Okay, last moon for the Moon Kingdom. Or Cap Kingdom, rather. I said Moon Kingdom because it's really close to the moon, but... Technically, not the Moon Kingdom. Okay, where is it? There you are. Okay, let's do it. I might just skip the um, free running till the very end anyway, because that way I can just do both at the same time. We. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, I beat my time, but, uh... I don't know why the gold Koopa took, like, such a weird roundabout way at the end there, but... There we go. We got it. So, yeah. Um, I believe that's everything. The only thing we can do now is, um... Again, the Cap Kingdom art, which, uh... We'll get. We just need to, uh... Um get back to that place, which I think we can do right now anyway, so. Uh, let's go to the Odyssey, turn these moons in. <clears throat> we may have actually unlocked, like, a new thing, too, because we are turning in, like, 30 moons right now. Oh, okay, now we still need 30 more. As you can see, the balloon is getting bigger on the uh, Odyssey as well. Okay, so I'm going to take a very quick pit stop. The quickest of pit stops, I guess you could say. Uh, we're just going to go to the Moon Kingdom really quick. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is there is one mission I want to take care of really quick. And I think I'll go ahead and grab the Cap Kingdom art, just since you know we're talking about it as well. So this is why I'm just going to take care of this really quick. But yeah, as you can see, the uh, meteorite is here as well. We'll uh, get that activated later. Hmm? Okay, yeah, they're going to be like, oh, hey, look at the moon rock every single time. Uh, so, notice how we have a lot of NPCs right here. We also have Captain Toad, which... You beat Bowser. I mean, you always do, but still, good job. <laughs> Okay, so that's just, like, I guess a reward for winning the game, I guess. Thanks, Captain Toad. But yeah, notice how we have all these uh, NPCs here from other kingdoms. Well, if we look at our album here and the picture we just took, that kind of looks like the color schemes of all of our allies, right? And it looks like there's a moon behind the second one, so... Let's uh, go ahead and uh, grab this. There we go. Found with Cap Kingdom Art. But the other thing I wanted to do was take care of this guy. Because, look, we have the uh, Wandering Traveler. He said he did want to come back to the moon, after all. Or come to the moon, anyway. Out of this world, you got up here? We've come a long, long way since the Sand Kingdom. Don't you love the stars? Here, take this. A gift for you. So there's a tourist from the Moon Kingdom. Hard to beat this place, but how about, let's see, um, yeah, a kingdom with the rarest mushrooms anywhere. You call that a challenge, friend? Do I have a place for you? Just gotta give this car a lot of gas first. Well, I think we know where that is. Um, before we do anything else, though, there is one other thing I want to check. I thought there was actually a, uh... I thought there was a warp straight to the cathedral, but I guess not. That's okay. Because I think there's a Moon Kingdom art. I think I think there's art that's available now, if I'm not mistaken. But if not, it's fine too. Oh, wait, no, there is a flag over there. Okay. I guess it just wasn't active yet, or something? I have no idea. Who knows anymore? But if we go inside the chapel, as you can see, there is a f painting here. Uh, this allows you to do the final boss again. So that's what that is. Uh, but yeah, here is the uh, hint art. I believe that it, well, that is obviously the Wooded Kingdom, so it's near a scarecrow. So let's go ahead and take that. Anything in here worth mentioning I know one thing I want I want these coins I kind of also want to get those last three coins that are here too just so I can be done with that but I think I'll just wait on that for now it's not a big deal 